grandpas, grandmas, whoever be watching my videos. I don't know. But anyways, as y'all can see by the intro of the video, what I'm basically doing on this video. As y'all can see, Jim, there's your aircraft right there. My hair is crazy right now since I, I did just took off my head sock since we were stripping this aircraft. But anyways, I'm at lunchtime right now, guys. So if y'all see me trying to shoe on something, that's because I still got food in my mouth. But anyways, let's get to this Cessna 182 right here. Look, let me go ahead and show y'all something crazy. Here, y'all probably try to listen to it. <clears throat> it sounds like crispy, crispy rice cereal. I don't know if y'all could hear it guys, like the acid, the stripper acid is doing its thing. And if y'all are wondering what type of stripper we are using, we are using T30 right now at the moment for the Cessna 182. As y'all can see, it's currently been uh, maybe at least 40 minutes since we laid down the stripper. And guys, let me tell y'all, it's doing its job, guys, it's doing its job. But besides the fact, Besides the fact that it's doing its job, we do have the keen air in the back, the 90, and the stagger over here. Oh, who's flying? Who's flying? Damn, that was pretty loud. It was, I don't know if that was a 172, I believe. Maybe a 182, I don't know.
right guys well this is one of the procedures we actually do after the stripper acid is done its job so we basically squeegee all the paint and stripper off before we go ahead and wash it one of the main reasons would be because you don't want stripper flying everywhere especially at the facility that you're working or hanger whatever you want to call it you don't want the stripper getting on the walls or anywhere else because obviously you always bring new aircrafts into the shop or into the place and always be careful when you're working with this type of stripper because it's so slippery so many pe people has injured themselves but anyways let's go ahead and get to the washing part <laughs>
video and this was the finished results actually this is like a couple days later honestly since the the end of the clip that i tried to edit the other day the mic was not working whatsoever but jim there you have it there's your aircraft i don't know if you realized or not but your aircraft has a lot of dents a lot of dents just from here one two three uh I don't know, it at least has like 30 dents on the fuselage on each side. So look at that, look at that, Jim. I don't know if you were aware of your aircraft had that many dents. Because with, with the paint on it, you really couldn't tell because all the bondo that was there. And also another thing, Jim, your flaps were filled with bondo. I'm surprised they were not cracked or anything whatsoever. I don't know if you could see the small pieces of bondo right here. Right there, right there. Literally, the whole flap was filled with Bondo. I don't see what was the reason for it because it seems pretty decent to me, you know. It really does. But yeah, that whole thing was filled with Bondo. I'm surprised. Damn. Yeah, I'm surprised the flap still moved. <laughs> but yeah, this 